this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple way to use the new JND double flags alongside the Regal alphabet to give us a beautiful sort of tag to go across a card. So the Regal alphabet section we'll be using, and you'll see there's a tutorial for that that's a separate video. And this is a kind of extension along with that one. So with the double flags, you get one, two, three, four, five, six nesting double flags. Each one fits within the other and gives a quarter of an inch border. So they're as fine as they can possibly be made. But what we're going to do for this one, I've used the two largest and I've already cut a black and a champagne colour linen tag in those and mounted them together. So now I'm going to take the third one and I'm going to put the name onto that. So I've got a white piece of card here, again, White Crafts 2 Linen, and this is die number three from the set. And one thing you will notice with these, as you use them, they will start to bow slightly. Just pull them back into size. To get that sort of neat edge that we needed, these had to be made very, very thin. So we can decide on what word we're going to use. So I've been using this through the tutorial, so I'm going to use Smile again. So I'm going to use S and then choose the M. So take each letter that you're using and these give you an easy guide to get these straight. So I, L and E. OK, very simple. Take the pieces out. So what I'm going to do to start with is to take the double flag and just tape it down on each end. So I'm using a little bit of tape across the pieces of the flag. And when I'm using a five letter word, I want to put the first letter into the center. So first of all, I'm putting the I, then go either side. Really simple. And then the end pieces and pop them into place. There we go. Evenly spaced and that way I get a nice even spacing. Take a long piece of tape and just stick that over and we just put, run that through our die cutting machine as normal. Some of the flags are a little bit long so you'll find if you just put them on a diagonal they will fit through perfectly into any day five die cutting machine. Okay. we'll take those away and then just carefully remove the tape depending on how your tape is you'll find it should very simply peel away and pop that down and we'll take our flag back out so what I would normally do in the normal scheme of things now is to choose a backing colour and cut that out in the next die up and then choose a backing colour for that. But I've already decided on the cream and the black. So we simply add, use some Craft Artist glue glaze or a little bit of spray glue. I'm a big fan of using spray glue and use it a lot, certainly in demos. But you'll see, really easy to place because the dies are accurate. So you can see there, just take a couple of the glue marks off. We've got beautiful smile across the front in the banner and it fits exactly. So we've got that to go on the front of our card and this is background is made using the pieces left over from the alphabet. But I want to show you a little trick using the smaller die. So I'm going to take the smallest die in the double flag set I'm simply going to take that down and I've got two pieces of card. The dies are very good. They're very strong. So this sort of shape will easily cut two in one pass. So I'm just running them through and they'll go through the smallest of your die cutting machines like your Spellbinders Platinum. But you can see here two pieces cut really simply. So it's always worth doing that if you can. It saves a lot of time and energy. So that is the smallest die in the set. And I'm simply going to take my pokey tool, hold the end 
and just roll it round. It gives a beautiful flourish. You see there, I get a beautiful roll flourish. So hold that one in place and just roll it round my pokey tool. And I get some beautiful flourishes to go onto my card. So we'll put those together and I'm going to use those with the flowers. So I'm going to pop a little bit of foam tape on the back of here. I need, I know, at least two layers. So I'm just going to treble over so that I get three layers of foam tape. So I fold it in half, take the connective off, and take that piece over, which means that I've now got a piece that is three layers thick. And I find it a lot easier to adhere these in the middle. There we go. So now I get that lovely sort of bowing effect. I'm going to take a little bit of wet glue. You can use wet glue, hot glue or silicon for this. And I'm just gluing on the curls. So I'm just tucking that in. There we go. You may need to sort of hold it down, give it some pressure for a minute or so. So again, hot glue would grab instantly on this, which is far better. So again, a little bit of glue, just where I want it to go. There we go. So we've got the little banners going around. And then I'm going to add a flower. The flower is a Cosmo flower. So if you want to know how that was made, if you watch the Cosmo flower tutorial, it will show you exactly how this flower was made. So we're just going to glue that on. And again, hot glue or silicon would be quicker. I do like things in threes. So I'll put three on. But there we've got a beautiful card finished with the banners. Allows us to put the sentiment on. We've got the little curls, which are really 3D. I'm just going to glue that one down a little bit. There we go, a little bit of glue there, perhaps. I'm using Craft Artist glue, so it is does dry clear and matte. So it doesn't matter that I've got a little bit spilled. But there we go. We've got our smile and we've got our beautiful curls. For more hints, tips and inspiration, why not visit the Crafting with John Nextdoor and Crafts 2 group on Facebook? There's galleries and inspiration galore.